This video is brought to you by the Wrestling GM app. Get ready to embark on a GM experience like you've never had before. The Wrestling GM universe contains 20 wrestling companies that span over the USA, Canada, Mexico, Europe, and Japan. Each company is unique in their own audience, rich history, and roster base. Your job as the general manager is to put on the most captivating shows possible for each unique and existing fan base. With great responsibility comes great power and your say is final. Play the Wrestling GM app. It's available on Android and iOS. Links in the description box below. But now on to our video. Question number one. What is your all time favorite movie? I don't know if I have an all time. Let's just go with one of the ones I'll probably watch the most. I'll just say The Dark Knight. Question number two. If someone is traveling to New Zealand and they're asking you for a recommendation on places that they should go, what places do you highly recommend? Uh, not from personal experience because I actually never been to the South Island, which is kind of crazy. But I know with everybody goes there as a, as a tourist, go down to Queenstown in uh, South Island and check out the sites down there. Question number three, who are the top most listened to artists on your playlist? Oh, you want me to read this out, my uh, my Spotify rap from the other day? That would be amazing, actually. Let me find this. It's not, I can tell you the number one song was uh, Long Way Down by the Steel Drivers. I got a little uh, country bluegrass kick recently. So I think my first four were all my, the top artists I had. It might have been uh, Steel Drivers, Tyler Childers, Coulter Wall, there was another one, and then number five was Obi Trice, of course. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that you did the Spotify rap. That's always really fun to see, you know, what your year in music essentially looked like. Yeah, yeah. Question number four, do you collect anything? No, I don't. Not, in, not even wrestling stuff. A lot of the time people ask me if, uh, hey, do you want to, if we buy this, do you want us to, for example, like wrestling belts, so we'll buy this and we'll make you a belt. I don't care. I don't collect it, just give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. What is your favorite cheat day meal or snack? Let's go uh, mango key lime pie. Ooh, delicious. Question number six. Do you believe in ghosts? And if so, have you ever seen one? I, I'd say I believe in them. I don't know if I've ever seen one. Uh, I'd say yes to the first, no to the second. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Question yeah. number seven. Uh, who were your favorite wrestlers growing up? Eddie Guerrero. Uh, but I also got the first, the first person that I... Uh, got behind and then that really kind of uh, got me to watch it. it was actually was actually randy orton 2004 was when i started watching it and uh yeah randy orton uh question number eight do you have any pet peeves shit too many to list to be honest uh doing <laughs> wrestling interviews when i'd rather be doing other shit is probably top of the list uh shit other than that i'm not sure. let's just go with that one okay okay that's a good one question number nine what's the craziest thing you've ever done oh i don't know if i can say this on here uh I've got, it's right in the front of my mind, but I don't know if I should say it publicly or not. So, uh, uh, screw it. On a school trip, we got an armed police con convoy out after us uh, and the helicopter and everything. What? Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> long story, but uh, we ended up getting pulled over and luckily we got away with the warning. But uh, in New Zealand, obviously the police aren't armed with, with weapons, but these guys were their M16 rifles and the helicopter was out after us because they thought we were like an armed, armed convoy when really we were going on a school trip. So everybody kind of had some flags and stuff and everybody was dressed up in little outfits. Um, but somebody called in and they thought there was an armed convoy so we had armed police follow us for a long time. The helicopter came out and uh, yeah, I happened to be the one that was kind of the, the scapegoat basically. I mean, I, yeah, I was the one that got spoken to by the police and kind of singled out but luckily it was all it was all smoked out because we all handled it and handled it the right way oh my god that sounds terrifying what was yeah. going through your mind uh at the time what the fuck is happening how is this <laughs> happening right now but yeah and then i was just like ah, oh, i hope this works out i hope, <laughs> I hope this doesn't end up in anything worse and it didn't Okay, well, that's definitely an interesting story. A very yeah. interesting life experience to have, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, last question, question number 10. Uh, what's one skill you wish you had? I wish uh, I was a bit more able musically. Either sing or be able to play guitar or instruments or something like that. Oh, that'd be pretty sick. All right. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Jay. Well, there you go. That was our interview. Uh, uh, sorry I had to put you through this, but I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. Uh, before we go, please feel free to plug in anything you'd like to plug in. No, I think you've, I think you've touched on most of it. Like I said, you can see me this Saturday, LA Comic Con. We got 
New Japan Strong Nemesis coming up on Thursday. And then actually December 18, I'll be in uh, Philadelphia for Icons of Wrestling. We'll be doing a meet and greet and signing there as well. 